Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. We are Nanova Dental and we are here to give you our very best tips, tricks, and knowledge about dental products and practices for you to implement into your practice. Today I'm excited to be going over all of the different applications for in-office fluoride varnish treatments with you today. So first we want to talk about all of the different fluoride treatment tools that you can use. So I'm sure most of you are familiar with fluoride toothpaste and fluoride mouthwashes. These are all great tools for the uh, patient to take home and use at their own time. However, we do want to point out some of the benefits that come along with using an in-office fluoride treatment. So firstly, you get a higher strength. So, so for in-office treatment, you can have up to 2.26% fluoride varnish content versus an at-home treatment can have between 0.09 to 0.5% fluoride content. So if you just apply it in office, you're getting a much bigger punch and a longer lasting treatment. And you also know exactly what the patient is getting. You know that they're not going to be over or under using the treatment at home on their own time. So if you do choose to use the in office treatment, we wanna talk about the different applications. So I'm sure the most common for you all is pediatric dentistry. We know that children are a high risk category for getting cavities and for having sensitive teeth. So currently the ADA recommends a 2.26% fluoride varnish for all children ages zero to 18. Um, if they're under six, currently the varnish treatment is the only approved safe method for them to use due to ingestion risks and other safety concerns. But we wanna talk about other applications apart from pediatrics because varnish can have a big part in overall oral safety, uh, hygiene, and health for many different causes. So another major indication for use is dental hypersensitivity. We can get hypersensitive sensitivity from a lot of things, ranging from root exposure, uh, maybe after a deep cleaning, and also during or after an orthodontics treatment. The varnish is an excellent protectant tool and can really help your patients be more comfortable um, and avoid any complaints or discomfort during or after treatment. There's also additional uses within orthodontics for a varnish treatment that maybe aren't as talked about. So when we look at enamel leukoplakia, those white lesions that occur on the teeth, it can be a major headache for orthodontics and a big pain point for uh, patients. We pulled some clinical literature to see what the test results are showing about how varnish can treat these enamel leukoplakia incidents. There was one trial we found of 273 people and when they used fluoride protectants during orthodontic treatment, they were actually able to reduce the incidence of enamel leukoplakia by as much as 70%. We also found another clinical trial of 110 people, and this one also had very similar results, um, strongly indicating that fluoride protectants can reduce the appearance of enamel leukoplakia. This can go a long way in helping your patients be happy with their overall treatment and really love their smiles once you're done with their orthodontics treatment. Um, the one thing to note here is that in orthodontics, if you're specifically using the varnish for enamel leukoplakia, it is recommended to apply it every six weeks. This is more uh, frequent than you'll see for other recommendations. Typically, it's every three to six months. But for this specific application, every six weeks is the most effective. We also don't want to leave out periodontics patients. These are our more high-risk um, adults that currently have or have had more severe root caries. With these patients that are identified as at high risk, we definitely want to give them fluoride varnish as a protective measure about two to four times a year per the ADA's recommendations. The one thing to note with this application is that fluorinated solution can have detrimental effects on soft tissue healing, so be sure to not apply any fluoride recently after any type of surgery and make sure that all the wounds are fully healed but this can be a very effective treatment and help their long-term health and prevent them from coming back for additional procedures down the road. All right, so now that we know all of these different applications, I wanna briefly discuss um, the differences between the different types of products. So the three kind of main ones are gonna be foam, gel, and varnish. With the fluoride foam, it is not recommended for children younger than six per the ADA recommendations. We also think that this one is a little bit less comfortable. You have the foam in the mouth and the tray, and there's a higher ingestion risk. So for that reason, the ADA more strongly promotes the 1.23% gel as well as a 2.26% varnish. 
Again, with the 1.23% gel, it's still not quite as comfortable or easy as the varnish. It has a four minute tray time and is still not recommended for children younger than six. So for this reason, we recommend the 2.26% fluoride varnish. It's comfortable, it's good for all age groups, and it gets your patients in and out without any added chair time and increases hygiene efficiency in the office, which always equates to higher revenue. So with all that being said, we would love to hear from you what kind of applications you're currently using, what kind of products you're currently using, so that we can get a better idea um, and help you implement maybe new treatments or new applications into your practice. Please let us know if you have any questions. Um, if you would like to try out our very own varnish, Nova Bright, which I have here with me today, please let us know in the comments and we will be sending you a free sample pack per your request. Again, my name is Allie, I'm with Nanova Dental. Feel free to check out our website today, www.nanovadental.com, and check out our special on Nova Bright Varnish. Please go ahead and give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell to stay up to date with all posts from us. You can also see our social media link below to chat with us and stay up to date with all Nanova content.